the entire Mishnah is divided into six segments, reflected in the mnemonic Zman Nakat. The segments begin with Seder Zrayim, two is Moed, three Nashim, four Nezikin, five Kodashim, and six Toharat. There is an alternative sequence in which the Seder HaMishnayot begins with Nashim. The prevailing Minhag, however, is to sequence the Mishnah with the Zman Nakat order. In an extensive footnote, there is discussion on the two positions and the reason as to why Minhag Yisrael has accepted Zman Nakat as the sequence of Mishnayot and Gemarot. This brings us to an added dimension and complication to question number four. The account of Miriam's prophecy regarding the birth of Moshe Rabbeinu is recorded twice, once in Masechet Megillah and a second time in Masechet Sota. According to the Zman Nekat sequence, Masechet Megillah as part of the Moed division of the Mishnayot precedes that of Sota, which is part of Nashim. Aside from the question as to what Rashi might have had in mind with the inclusion of the source, a further question would be why he selects Sota as the source rather than Megillah. According to the Zman Nakat sequence, Megillah precedes Sota, and therefore, if he did not wish to quote both sources, at the very least, he should have quoted the first rather than the second. Rashi was certainly aware that the incident is recorded in both Masech Ta'ot. What we will need to explore is what is it that the account in Masechet Sota contains that is not found in the account from Masechet Megillah. And for which Rashi overlooks Masechet Megillah, the earlier account, in favor of Masechet Sota.